All right, we're taking off on another adventure. It's Saturday, June 1st, 2019. I'm headed east on Highway 26 out of Portland, heading to a place called Pine Hollow Reservoir. I plan to do a shorter triathlon back there. It's a 500 meter swim, 15 mile bike ride, and a four mile run. The run is on gravel. I sort of refuse to, to run on pavement. It just beats me up too badly. So this one's all on gravel or trails, and I'm looking forward to it. Andrea asked me to stop and scout a location where they might want to go camping. So. This is on my trip to Pine Hollow on the way there. I just pulled off at this location to go check it out for her. So I'm out kicking around, driving up this road, and it's right near the Oregon town of Rhododendron. And wouldn't you know it, there are just a ton of wild rhododendrons out here along the road. They're pretty much everywhere and they were all along this road. This is Forest Road 48 and it is a quote shortcut unquote from Highway 35, which essentially runs from Mount Hood up to Hood River, and Pine Hollow, where I'm headed. And it's obviously a reasonably decent road, but I've never been on it before. It's one that is closed in the wintertime, and, unless you have a snowmobile or something. So I've never come down it because of virtually every, all the things I've done up here have been in the winter in the snow. Officially annoying. I drove up Highway 26 quite a long ways from Clear Lake back to the junction with 35, hit 35, came down here, and it's only six miles back across this road to Highway 26. If I'd known that, if I'd been, um, if I'd had better maps because I was using my phone, um, probably would have saved me half an hour driving. Because according to the post across the street, it's nine miles back even just to Highway 35. So, that could have worked out better. This was another little detour I took looking for a campsite out in the National Forest for dispersed camping with my daughter, Andrea. Kind of a nice area. And I spent quite a bit of time driving around here. Kind of neat. Sun's setting. It's about seven o'clock. The sun is setting in the west. I'm driving this road, and there's just one little shaft of sunlight coming down right here. This is the resort at Pine Hollow Reservoir. There's a campground in the back and I slept in the back of my truck like usual. It took me quite a long time to get over here because the normal time was estimated to be almost three hours and I took all those detours looking for camping sites. But so now the weather is pretty darn spectacular. 
the water according to the organizer is 70 degrees this is an event it's put on by a, an outfit called xdogevents.com he's been in the area a long time and I've done a lot of his events they're typically pretty fun it's a guy with a radio controlled float plane I went for a walk to see what the course looks like and it looks like it's gonna be dead flat which is fine of course always makes for good times as opposed to good times it is a spectacularly calm and nice morning this morning swim is going to start here on this beach, go out to the yellow buoy and then back over there to the left just around that point there's a old boat ramp that's the transition point where the bike is stored and that sort of stuff This is the end of the swim, where you get out of the water, run up, take off your wetsuit, grab your bike and your shoes, and then when you get back and done with the bike ride, bike ride, you switch into your running shoes. The whole transition point. All right, this is the Pine Hollow Triathlon. I'm on the bike ride, obviously. Did good in the swim, probably the end of the top third. But I'm on the bike right now, and it's going as always. Folks are pulling away from me. At least the, at least the views are nice. All right, that's the pile of junk left over from finishing all the wet gear and the bike and so forth. I'm a sweaty nasty mess. Finished the triathlon in about 2 hours 24 minutes. There's some folks that are at the transition area right now and I've been sitting around for 15 minutes that have that just got done with the bike. So anybody can do this. It's It'll be easy for you but it's time for a shower.
got out of the water. Couldn't find my glasses, of course, because I wasn't wearing them. But this was a nice event. And the, um, I don't know, the joy of doing it is just so good on top of how much it helps me get off the couch and go work out and practice and go do new things. So it was fun. So get out there. You need to get out there and find the joy. This is Tai Valley. There's a really well-known rodeo here. It's quite a pretty valley. Sorry I didn't give you pictures from up above before I came down the hill into the valley. I'm going home. This is the odd man, out.